Okay, welcome to part one of my how to build a community site tutorial series. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to start out with the, uh, the general design of the site. Uh, now I do have some images already created that I will be using. Um, and some are just sort of temporary images that um, I'll just be using uh, for sort of spacers until I get time to make uh, the images that I want to keep. So, uh, let's get started. Um, so, right here I have, or right here I have the current code for uh, basicnick.com, the only file that's actually on the server right now. Uh, it's just the index file and it's just showing the table that you see here in this text. That's only the only thing that's there. Um, and here, I have the images I'm going to be using, a bad image, a good image, a fave icon, and now a fave icon is like these things that you see here, the YouTube icon, the Google icon, localhost, PHP my admin, my admin, all these little icons that you see that are in the corner of different web pages, that's a fave icon, um, and I'm going to be showing you how to uh, put one of those on your website. Um, this is just some simple logos. They're just, for the most part, just text logos. Um, I'm actually going to be using this one, logo.png. Um, the other ones are just ones I was messing around with. Uh, a nice little header image. or no, oh, it's this one, actually. A nice little uh, navigation image that we're going to be using for our navigation bar. And uh, a nice little rollover image that we're going to uh, display in the back of our images, or the back of our links, to uh, get a nice rollover effect. Uh, so it's it's going to look very nice. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of everything on the page um, except for our basic tags. And uh, there we go. So uh, right now this is running off of my local host. Every couple of videos I will upload uh, them and release the source code. But uh, currently this is, we have nothing on our page but our title. So... Uh, what we want to do is we want to start creating uh, the style for our website. Now, I've sort of already decided how I want it to look like for the most part, so uh, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is we want to say div id equals, and I'm going to call this uh, whoops, header, yeah, I spelled that right. So I'm going to call it header. Now, our header div, our div id header, um, what it is is essentially like a box that's going to be at the very top of our website. It's going to be up here at the top of our website, and it's going to contain our logo and our login form over here for when we get that far in the series. So uh, we're just going to create that, and we're going to style these in a bit. Uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. I'm going to paste it, and inside of and uh, another one we're going to have is a wrapper. Now our wrapper is pretty much going to contain gonna contain the grand majority of our website um, so everything's gonna be inside of it um, so yeah other than our uh, header and then we're also going to have a footer so footer um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna style all of these now I'm gonna create a new file and I'm just gonna save it and it's going to be a cascading style sheet, a CSS file. And what CSS files are used for is they're used to style web pages. If you go to any web page, they pretty much use a style sheet, a cascading style sheet, a CSS file. Um, so we're going to use one. Uh, we're going to call it main.css right there. And I'm actually going to put it inside of a directory called, uh, I don't know, styles, I guess. So we're going to save main.css to the styles directory. So if we go back to our uh, basicnick.com directory, we have a styles folder and our main.css, cascading style sheet document. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to begin styling our uh, HTML stuff. So to style it, an ID in uh, a div or a span or, or whatever it is, to style an ID, we type in the pound key or the number sign. Uh, it's actually a pound key, or there's a couple other names, but I'm going to reference it as a pound key. Um, and then you want to say uh, header, because that is the name of what we're styling. And we have curly brackets. 
Um, now, our curly brackets are going to uh, contain, it's going to be wrapped around our entire, entire style for the uh, site. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to set a uh, background color. So, background dash color. And I'm going to set this just to uh, CCC, which is sort of a, a dark gray. And if I refresh the page, there's actually nothing because, hang on, um, real quick, I'm going to set a width of the of the uh, page, and I'm going to set it to 900 pixels, and I'm also going to set a height to, I don't know, just 50 pixels for now, or we'll just go with 100, because I think that's closer to what my image is. And we still have nothing. Oh, the reason is, is because we have not linked off to our style sheet, which is what I forgot to do. Uh, so to link off to a style sheet, you literally type in link off to style sheet. No. Um, <laughs> so we want to create a link. I'm getting a text. And we want to end the link. So our link is going to have an href. And it's just like a, a normal uh, anchor tag link. Uh, you, the href is the location of the <coughs> of the the, uh, the file. In this case, our, our main.css file. So it's inside of our styles folder, and it is called main.css. So that's what it's called. Now we also want to say rel. So rely equals uh, style sheet. So we're pretty much just saying that it's a style sheet file. So we're going to use it to style our document. And the last thing we need is a type. And the type for style sheets is oops, text slash CSS. So pretty much what we're doing is we're saying our style sheet is located in the styles folder and it's called main.css and that is, is in fact a style sheet. So if we now refresh our page, we now have this 100 pixel box that is uh, relatively large. It's uh, 900 pixels actually. But the problem with this is is that it's all the way pushed up against this side here and is this giant space over here. But we want to center this. We want to have it at the very middle of our page, nice little like middle column type deal. Um, now you might be thinking, oh, just use the center tag. No, don't use the center tag because the center tag will center everything inside of it. So it'll center all the text and all the content inside of this, which is exactly what we don't want to do. So if we go back to our main.css, we want to say margin dash left colon semicolon. There's no zero in margin. Margin dash left. There we go. So our margin dash left, we're going to set it to auto. So we're going to set the right margin as well to auto. So what we're doing is the margin left to auto, margin right to auto. So it's going to set the left and right side a uh, little like space sort of uh, thing. That's what pretty much a margin is. Um, we're going to set that space. We're going to pretty much make them equal to each other, which is which is what uh, how we center our content. So get that nice little center effect. So what we want to do now is I'm going to um, go back to the index page. And inside of our header, I'm going to go ahead and create a link. So a href equals, and then I'm going to end the href. And the link is going to be http colon forward slash forward slash www.basicnick.com forward slash. And it is going to be an image, so img src. So the image source, the location of the image, is inside my images folder and it is called logo.png and then we want to end the image just like that so if we refresh we now have this, uh, this simple basic nick uh, text image so uh, yeah so I'm gonna stop this video here uh, we've started the basic design of the site uh, and in part two we will continue on with the design. So, check out part two of the series.